do you know how to use a chain rule? Imagine we're trying to find the derivative of a function inside a function. So think about the derivative rules that we all memorized are they only work in this exact form. And the only derivatives that we can do in one step are exactly these. So for example, we can find the derivative of sine of x in one step. We know it's cosine of x. But if I was trying to take the derivative of sine of x plus 1, that's impossible to do in one step because that's sine of a function, not sine of an entity. Here, if we're trying to find the derivative of f with respect to x, that's impossible because it's f of a function, not f of x. To get around this, we're going to do what all mathematicians do when they get stuck. We're going to make stuff up. I'm going to make up an entity u and say that u equals g of x. This reduces to f of u. And look, we have f of an entity, so we can differentiate this, but only with respect to u. This is how far we've gotten so far. We figured out how to differentiate f, but only with respect to u, which is what we made up. Remember, we want df dx, not df du. On the right hand side, we need to get rid of du and introduce a dx. So I'm going to multiply by du dx, and you'll see that the du's cancel just to leave df dx. And because we said u equals g of x, we can say this is df dg times dg dx, or the derivative of f with respect to g times the derivative of g with respect to x. And that's how you differentiate a composite function.